Nikita H. Welcome to Code to Create channel. Before getting into the video, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Please do watch the video till the end and if you liked it, please like it and share it with your friends. Friends, if you have any comments, please do comment below in the box. Let's go for it. In this video, we are going to learn about threads. I am in the activity main.xml. Over here in the text view, nothing. we will have to add just one thing. The android is to id. We are setting the id over here to text view. Now let's come to main activity java. Over here nothing. We will have to just initialize the threads. For that I am just gonna do. What I am just gonna do is I am gonna write Wi-Fi threads. Okay, okay, okay. So I know why is it showing the error when I write about Wi-Fi threads. The thing is we need the Java com.example thread tutorial. Over here I am creating a new Java file. Over here like this new Java class. And then I am naming it as Wi-Fi thread. Like this. And then I am making another Java class. Naming it as view thread. Over here we have public class Wi-Fi thread. So we will have to just delete this up. In the Wi-Fi thread, we'll have to just do a bit of difference. The first thing we need to do is we need to make a public class. For that, I'm writing public and then class. And I'm naming the class as Wi-Fi thread. Wi-Fi thread. And then I'm saying extends a thread. It is a thread. I'm explaining that. The, I'm saying him that yeah, the Wi-Fi thread, the class Wi-Fi thread is a thread. So let's write down that. And then put out a curly braces. Inside this we'll have to write at override. Then come down. And then do a public void run. This is used for running. The program. Run. I'm just naming this as run and then putting up uh, curly braces and then saying super dot run so this command will run the whole app and then saying I'm creating a for condition saying for int integer i is equal to 0 I'm ending it and then I'm saying i so over here for has three values the starting, the end, and the middle value. I is less than or equal to 50. I am ending it. I ended it. And then saying I plus plus. Let's come out and put out the curly braces. And then over here we are calling the log. So to print a message over here. I am naming the tag for it as tag. And then the message as Wi-Fi thread. And for you guys to know, I'm just adding the number over here, the integer i, the variable i to say. And now let's hit out Alt Enter. Yeah, and now the import is completed. So let's we'll have to copy the same code. the same code to the view thread so let's just do that control v where is the error oh okay yeah so we let's just come down delete up this much and then end it it is for the public class so why is this showing an error duplicate class found yeah, there is a duplicate class because I wrote down Wi-Fi thread itself. The thing we'll have to write is view thread. So let's do that up. View thread, yeah, the error is gone now. And over here also, let's change the message. Let's 
Now we here also let's just keep it as 50. Let's come back to the main activity dot Java. Over here now we are initializing it and over here it's not going to show any error. As we already wrote the same, we already set the value for the view thread. What is a view thread? It's a class. That's what we are going to initialize in the main activity. Let's do that up. So I'm writing down Wi-Fi thread. You saw that it's it appeared. And then writing down Wi-Fi thread in lowercase, W lowercase. Let's do that same thing for the view thread. Let's end it. And now let's come here inside the protected void let's come inside the protected void let's come down and then say wi-fi thread is equal to new wi-fi thread is equal to new wi-fi thread right so over here we are saying that we need a wi-fi thread is equal to the new one and now let's end new the wi-fi thread the class wi-fi thread let's do the same for the view is equal to new view thread yeah and now let's end it up now let's call the action by saying wi-fi thread dot start yeah let's come down do the same to the view thread do the same to the view thread yeah dot start yeah so now let's run it up and check if there's any error or we need to debug anything let's open up the emulator Yeah, you'll have to just wait for some time. Let's open up the log cat now. And then search out tag over here. You saw that. Let's make this up big. See the Wi-Fi thread over here is still the 50. It stays still the 50. And over here it's confusing us. Because we didn't say the view thread or the Wi-Fi thread to stop. We just said that just run this up like this. So it is continuously running and it will stop in 50. You saw that view thread ends in 50. Uh, we'll have to check out for, yeah, the Wi-Fi thread also ends in the 50. Let's check out 51 if anything is there like 51. Uh, no, 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 no. No, so there's no view thread or wi-fi thread as 51 because in the for loop we set the value as 51 is equal to the 51 so great now we know what's a thread thank you friends bye bye